I traveled 274 nautical miles with my step van and I didn't barely drive a single kilometer of the whole route. Hi, my name is Flossie Rocks and I live in this 1999 Ford E350 step van conversion that I did myself. This is the epic adventure I have been preparing for months to take my van on a road trip. I feel very grateful to have internet, heat, food, company, and this glorious view. That will test its limits, my limits. Because I hit something pretty hard, but this next bit of road will be interesting to get out of. And take us to places so far north that I've never been before in my life. stuff and get off and go out and find a cabin because prior me before all of the job stuff happened book myself a cabin yeah. I have traveled from New Zealand via Australia and come all the way north to live in British Columbia Canada when I left I said I wanted to experience the northern hemisphere I had no idea that I would get so far north that I could literally see Alaska with my own eyes. Let alone bringing my van conversion, my tiny home on wheels, with me. From here on out, I have no idea what's ahead of me, what to expect about what could happen, where I'll end up, and the things and places I'll see. The Inside Passage This route BC Ferry takes through the protected waters of BC's central and northern coastline. It stretches from Port Hardy on the northern tip of Vancouver Island to Prince Rupert on the northern British Columbia. 
Aside from a short stretch of open ocean between Vancouver Island and the Rivers Inlet, where the Central Coast Archipelago begins, the route north to Prince Rupert leads through a narrow maze of channels, passes and reaches, snow and ice-coated peaks on the mountains on either side, and their shoulders plunge directly to the tide line. It is absolutely stunning. I look forward to my upcoming adventure of active exploration once we traverse through this amazingly dramatic scenery of mountains, looking deep into the fjords where the river mouths and estuaries meet the oceans, glazing into the distance where the mountains and their glaciers run alongside the inside passage. 274 nautical miles by boat later, I will reach Prince Rupert, with my van in tow. The stunning vistas are windows into life along the coast. The narrow waterway lined with mountains that soar it to heights up to 3,500 feet. Colonial history and its ongoing impacts hang heavy in the air as we sail past some of the last old cannery villages, mining and logging area, and pulp mills. Oh, there, I see. There it is. Two of them. They're in small style. Oof. I just took a nap. to pack up in here and get everything ready to take down to the van, have some last snacks, tidy up, and I think we'll be there soon, within the next hour maybe. Yeah, it's exciting. I took a nap because I was so tired. I spent most of the day editing because I don't need the internet for that. And it's been some gorgeous, gorgeous views as we go on the inside track. We would have gone up through the Broughton L Archipelago. Super neat. It's like the constant hum and noise of the engine of the ferry. So I have a few days more to recover before I have got another one. And the next one's only an eight hour ferry ride instead of a 20 something hour ferry ride. So that's good. Attention passengers. We will arrive at Prince Rupert Terminal shortly. At this time, all this area is very remote and almost inaccessible by land. Most of this coast is accessible only by boat, and the coastline is home to several large indigenous communities that lie in the shadow of the mountains. Just watching this goosey boy decide what to do. He's walked all the way over from behind that RV. Look at him doing the waddle. I mean, are you looking at me, goosey? Where's the other one? Not only you gooses comes in twos. Okay, very unexpected, but I woke up and there's snow right there. And I'm right there, in a campground. Snow! It's beautiful, but it's chilly out! 
I've gotten back in time with seasons. It's so much colder here further north and I've still got more north to go for another eight hours. Oh wow, so noisy. Anyway, I'm gonna move, time to move. I'm gonna take down the Starlink. I'm gonna go somewhere we're not paying for more camping. Cause that sound is delightful. Are those brand geese? Maybe they're brand geese. I don't know. With a population of roughly 12,000, the city of Prince Rupert is located on Cayenne there Island. There's snow up there! So pretty! The mouth of the Skeena River in the coast mountains of British Columbia. It is Canada's wettest city, with an average of 2,619 millimetres of precipitation falling each year. Prince Rupert is known as the city of rainbows and it is a land, air and water transportation hub of British Columbia's north coast. I'm sure this will be the first of many 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 endless trips down gravel dirt roads. To who knows where. Only 11 more kilometers of dirt roads and potholes to go. These ones aren't bad. You should have seen it earlier, but I needed two hands for driving. I think this is all worth it. What I've come here for is just around the kilometer. Ooh. I bottomed out there. Um, around the corner, 11 kilometers later. I'm gonna have to check underneath my van. My water tank hangs a little low. I mean, there's lots of stuff that hang low, but we'll see what that was then. But there's the ocean! Oh, oh yeah. Made it. Now, guess who should also be here somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere. Holy shit. Oh. That's steep. Okay. Okay. Sweet. I'm assuming I keep going this way. I might just pull over and go look. I want to check before I get anywhere. I can't turn around. Okay. I mean, look at that. I think this is what I came for. Yeah. High tide is definitely right there. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Driving on the ocean shore, for sure, below the high tide line in order to get to a campsite. Woo! Woo! Crazy!
Heat's on. Nap time. Did some filming already. Talk about that for a view out my window. Look, it is real life. Oh. <sighs> Gorgeous. I just got out of bed. Just turned the heater on and the Starlink on. This is my view. <sighs> it's about eight degrees inside here. I've got my computer ready to start work. <sighs> it's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. And I get to stare at this view all day while I work. And hear the Starlink like adjusting its position right now. I feel very grateful to have internet, heat, food, company, and this glorious view. I'm sitting here waiting for the sunshine that's just hitting the shoreline to creep up to my van to hit the solar panels. It would be so nice to be out in a boat out there right now. Look at this guy, so cool. Time to take my computer, my table, this, and let's go outside and eat because it is too beautiful outside not to enjoy lunch in the sunshine and working outside. <sighs> it's glorious, so why not? I need to get out. I need to get out. Here, let me put you Hair on. day over here. <laughs> you look like one of those like backstreet boys with the like whoosh, straight puffy hair. <laughs> but in all seriousness, when your bangs are doing what bangs should do, I think they really suit you. All I can see is your face.
that whale somewhere in the bay. They just saw him. Well, that was an excitement for about two minutes. I was working at my desk and I heard the I heard it before and I was like, oh, that sounds like a sea lion, but it must have been further over that way. Didn't realize what it was. Came back here and I was like, there's a whale! And I saw it once and then it ran out and I saw it again and then I managed to capture it on video once from really far away. But anyway. This bay often gets humpback whales in it and other whales, I think, too, feeding. And so, super cool. Yeah. Oh, it's just beautiful. And there's my man. <sighs> Freaking nature is incredible. It's one of those things where if you pay hard enough attention, you might just see a whale. This is, of course, one of this beautiful ceramic whale that one of my connections through a Patreon gave me. Thank you so much. Today, we saw a humpback whale. Very cool. Came for a little walk after my work day. It's late afternoon and it's just beautiful. And I think there's a river. I came to find out. I also think this is the end of my walk because come over here I'm not walking up that fascinating stuff I need to stretch my legs now I go back to the van hopefully my video for this week has done uploading and everything is prepped and organized for that to go out and then i head into town i will meet up with amanda there she went in there earlier to do some other errands and then probably do a last minute grocery shop i don't know why we've done a lot of grocery shops but right food it's fun it's exciting and sometimes you don't know what you've forgotten until you've forgotten it Me luck on these roads. Whoa. Okay. Just went and checked everything because I hit something pretty hard, but. You might not get much filming from me for the next little bit because this next bit of road will be interesting to get out of. Like so. Same seal?
good morning from the ferry terminal lineup. It's the final ferry to Haidekwai. One more ferry to go. This time I'm with Amanda and Frank and we are so close to getting there. I can't wait to see you next week to see the beginning of this epic adventure. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. A huge thank you to my Patreons and I'll see you all next week. Bye.